Welcome to My Creative Time with Emma. And welcome to another Throwback Thursday Challenge. Stay tuned because my mom's going to make something special. So let's get started. Good morning. My boys wanted to do that intro for me, so I went ahead and I let them. Okay, today's project for our Throwback Thursday Challenge, we are going to be using Stretch Your Imagination cartridge. Um... And the cuts we're going to be using from this is going to be this one right here. I'm actually going to be using this square, but um, I'm going to be using this little cake here on page 61. As well as this um, card frame right here on page 59. And the stamp set I'm going to be featuring um, for this one is going to be this really cute one called Laffy Taffy Face Assortment from Peachy Keen, of course. Um, and this is actually going to be our giveaway for this challenge. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here we go. This is what I did. I took that square that I had showed you, the first square I showed you. I went ahead and I put it on here. And I took off my little link here because I wanted to change the size on it. I could have used the cards that are in there already, but I wanted to make a window, and I wanted to create my own, to be honest with you, because when you cut out those cards, for some reason, I don't know, I just never, they have like little tick marks there that I cut out. I don't like that on my card, so I kind of like to do my own basis. This way I could score it so it could look, it look nicer in my own, that's my own opinion. So anyway, so what I did is I got that square, and I took that little link off, and I put on um, real dial size to make sure it was 10 inches by 5 inches. So when you fold it, it'll be 5 by 5 card. Um, so and then what I did for this one right here, and this is that frame I used, and I made sure this was also 5 by 5, and this is going to go right on here. Oh, wait a minute, before I do that, this little square here, I kind of added. So what I did was I put this on over it first, and I just... I just got a square and I kind of made sure I measured it in there perfectly um, so this way I can make a window on the card so if we move this over here you can see this creates a window now you don't have to weld that in if you don't want to but I'm so used to doing it so what I did was I just made sure um, it was all grouped together first let me go back there I made sure this was all grouped together first and then what I did was I went to my advance button and I went ahead and just made sure it was welded together. So I wanted to make sure there was, there was an opening. So now if I put this, oops, let me take off my eyeball. So now when I put this over here, that's going to layer on top of that. And then I decided to go ahead and get, um, I decided to use that little cake. So I believe, let me double check. Yeah, the size for the cake is, let me hit my size button, is 1.84. And let me go grab that cake really quick, which is right here. So what I did was I got that cake, and I went ahead and I made sure it fit in there perfectly, which it did. And that's when I started to use my hide contour feature. So for example, um, for this cake here, I knew I only wanted the first layer um, to cut. So let me go ahead and zoom in for you so you could see this. I knew I didn't want the candles to um, cut out, so I went to Advanced. And I went to the hide contour feature, which these little photo co corners right there. And that little red one's highlight, so I click hide, and I went ahead and click next. Just to take off the candles. And that's how that landed up being. So what I did also, um, as soon as I got that, which is right there, so let me take that off. I did the same thing. What I did was I went to the layers on here. So the layers to that cake, so I clicked on layers, which is right here. And on the layers portion, I, because I wanted to do the plate a different color as well as the little, um, I guess I should say icing that's on the cake. So um, for this one, let me go ahead and do the hide contour again. So this one I got rid, I kept the little candle. So what I did, I just got rid of the, um, the bottom portion. There we go. Hide that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, and then that's the same thing I did. So I went ahead and I copied that, and then I hid um, the cake just to make sure just the candles were shown on there. Okay, so that's pretty much how I um, actually designed this here in my Gypsy. Let's go ahead and get this card together. 
Okay, so these are the three colors we are going to be using for this challenge. I'm not sure if you could see it or not, but this is definitely a chocolate chip brown, a red, and this is like a, I had gotten this recently from um, Paper Tray Ink, it's called Hawaiian Shores, but it's kind of like an aqua color, so like a, probably in the blue family. So that's going to be the color challenge, so if you do not have the Stretch Your Imagination cartridge, that's fine. These are the colors we're going to be working with, so like a light blue, red, and chocolate chip. Those are the three colors you're to use in your project for this week. And here goes my card, right here. Okay, see, here goes my card right here. You see how it cut out that window perfectly? And here goes this portion right here. Didn't this come out beautiful? Of course, I did my doodling off camera because that takes forever to do. And I went ahead and add the little bit of bling just to kind of bring in the red a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down really quick with my um, Tombow liquid glue. And go ahead and put this down real fast. Okay, so I got that down perfectly, and what I, if you've seen my um, videos in the past, when I make window cards, I like to get a pencil and I like to trace in there, so I could, which I did already, so I could go ahead and put my cake on. I went ahead and I put a part of my cake together because I want to stamp on there my little um, Laffy Taffy faces here, so let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. Oh, look at how cute that is. God, I love this stamp set. And I don't use it as much as I would like to and I need to because it's so, so cute. Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, that is the first little stamp right in that. I kind of messed up her little mouth a little bit, but that's okay. There's no mistakes in paper crafting, right, ladies? Um, so let me, and this other stamp set I'm using, um, this is actually from Paper Tray Ink also. It's called the Mix Messages, which is real. I actually really, really like this set from them because it's really, really tiny. So if you ever need little tiny, tiny sentiments, that's the place to get them from because, and they fit. See, look at how perfect this is. Look at how perfect that is. Oh, I love it. Okay, so that's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish this really quick. I'm going to go ahead and finish putting on all the little icing on here. I'm going to use my little quicker picker upper here. Go ahead and put the glue here first. How beautiful that is. Okay, got the last one on there. So what I'm going to do with this, I think I want to pop this up. Let me grab some pop dots real fast. Okay, just using some quick pop dots I actually got from Michael's. All right, let's go ahead and get this on here. In the center as I can. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm grab my eraser here and just erase my outline here real fast. Okay, and then I'm probably going to grab my red marker after I'm done and paint her little uh, lips red. How perfect is this card? Isn't this beautiful? And especially coming from Stretch for stretch Your Imagination. So that's exactly what I want you to do, ladies. Go ahead and stretch all of your beautiful imaginations. I see what you have. Everybody has it in them. I saw it from the last challenge. So I will go ahead and I will be using random.org again and I will be picking the winners on Monday morning so good luck everybody with this challenge and I'm looking forward to see what everybody has to create for me for this week okay have a great day and I will see you back here Monday bye bye